Well, hello everyone. So I've been working on this AI for gaming and we've implemented some color into the console, but I found this pretty cool thing on Stack Overflow where somebody posted this code snippet and it allows you to print out all of the ASCII escape key sequences for colors on the console. And I thought that was pretty cool and we could look at making a class out of that that we could use. So I'm gonna create a new Python file and I'm gonna call this, let's call this color test.py. And I'm gonna uh, take this snippet out of Stack Overflow. And I want, you know, I wanted to give the person credit for coming up with this. It's a pretty cool solution, I think. And uh, I mean, it's not, you know, rocket science. Uh, they're essentially looping through all the possible key combinations and printing them out. And what this will do is uh, it will uh, essentially print out all the combinations of the color escape sequences and let you kind of run a debug mode to, to see what they look like. And then, you know, based on what your use case is, you can pick out the code that you want. So I thought, let's turn this into a class so that we could use this as a little library in the future for ourselves. So the first thing let's do is you can copy this code. You can just Google this, steal this out of Stack Overflow. I'll put the link, I guess, in the description of this video. Uh, but, you know, essentially they're looping through the style. They're looping through the foreground color. Uh, they're creating a blank string, uh, uh, string. They're looping through the background colors. So this is just looping through the three different combinations of style, foreground, and background. And then they're creating that, you know, special ASCII escape key sequence to generate that. And this key sequence is the one that will return you back to the standard uh, console color. So that's all they're doing, and we can we can make a nice little class out of this. So let's call this class, maybe we'll call this console color. And we can tab this over. So let's keep this function in here. Oops, let me tab everything over here. Let's keep this function as part of the class because what we can do in the future is, if we import this and we want to uh, print that out, we could do console color dot print format table and that would and we could run this and that would let us run that as kind of like a debug if we were using that module and we wanted to kind of see the colors on the screen so that's kind of a cool utility to have and the and then the other things that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to be able to return a color value and a, a normal value to go back to the normal console color so let's define two functions we'll define color which will take three parameters. It's going to take that style, foreground, background. And let's define norm. That doesn't need to take any parameters. And for the normal, it's easy. We're just going to return that special escape sequence, which is shown here, x1b bracket 0m. Oops, if I can type it. So that'll be our, our normal you know, uh, color. And then for the color, we want to generate a string kind of like what they did here. So first we'll say color equals, and we'll use this uh, semicolon dot join. And we'll join together the string of the style, string of the foreground, and string of the background. And then what we'll do is we will return kind of like what they've done there, a formatted string, and we'll return x1b, and then we'll put in a bracket, and then here we'll use our uh, format, and we'll say color, and then don't forget to add an m on the end. So that will give us our color. So let me uh, comment out the uh, print table function, and let's add another function. So how we can use this now is we could say, if I want, oops, let me, uh, kill this console. I accidentally ran Python. So if we wanted to create a, a string and I let's do formatted string hello world. What we can do now is we can add the start and the finish of our special color character. So we're going to put two uh, brackets here and two brackets here to make hello within a color, one of those colors. And what we can do is we can print out any one of those codes. So uh, let me actually let me print that out so we have it as a reference. So let's print that. Okay, so now let's pick one of these that we want to do. So if I wanted to do 
Let me bring back Hello World. So if let's say we wanted to do this uh, yellow background red foreground for Hello, we, we could just call color, console color dot color, and we would put in those numbers as arguments. So 7, 33, 41. And then when we want to go back to our standard color, we would just call console color dot norm. And that'll return back that uh, normal, uh, that, that uh, ASCII escape sequence that returns it back to the normal. So let's print that out and see how that runs. And there you go. So now we have hello world. And now we have a nice little utility that we can print out all of the escape sequences. We can choose what we want and we can quickly uh, use that in code without having to do lots of uh, messing around with uh, escape keys. So I hope you found this tutorial useful, uh, interesting. You can incorporate this into any console project. So if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.